Hi friends, welcome to Circle Time today. This week we've been talking about caterpillars and how they form cocoons and then they transform into beautiful butterflies. And we've also been talking about creepy crawly creatures that weave webs and have eight legs. What creepy crawly creature weaves a web and has eight legs? If you said a spider, you are correct. So I would like you to get out your itsy bitsy spiders so you can sing this song with me. Are you ready? Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. How about the very slow spider? The very slow spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the very slow spider went up the spout again. What about the great big spider? Are you ready? The great big spider went up the water spout. Down crashed the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great Big spider went up the spout again. Well, if we had a very big spider, what about our tiny spider? The very tiny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the very tiny spider went up the spout again. What about our very quiet spider? Can we do it? Okay, here we go. The very quiet spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the very quiet spider went up the spout again. Thank you, friends, for singing Itsy Bitsy Spider with me. But now I want to talk to you about something that we are going to celebrate this Sunday in May. Do you know what we're going to celebrate this Sunday? We are going to celebrate our mommies and show them how much we love them and thank them for all of the great things that they do for us. So for circle time today, I brought a book to share with you called, I Love You Just The Way You Are. And this book is by James Dillon and Rosie Greening. Each morning when I wake you up, you're as grumpy as can be. But you're my dreamy dozer, and that's all right with me. When you're feeling nervous, you sometimes try to hide. But I love you, Timid Turtle, and I'm always by your side. Even though you're tiny, you're the bravest mouse I know. I love you, little Lionheart. It's great to watch you grow. 
You always make a giant mess each time you eat and play. Although you are a messy pup, I love you anyway. You like to trumpet loudly and stomp and stamp all day. You're a noisy elephant, but I love you that way. You scramble and you scurry, you clamber and you climb. You're my cheeky monkey and I love you all the time. Whenever we go swimming, you're the splashiest by far. You're my happy hippo and I love how fun you are. Sometimes you don't want to wash, you give a giant roar. Even when you're stubborn, every day I love you more. When you're in a prickly mood, you curl up in a ball. But you're my spiky hedgehog and I love you most of all. Sometimes you jump happily and never want to stop. You're a fidget little frog, but I love every hop. Whether you're red and angry or feeling down and blue, I see all your true colors and the beauty inside you. So remember in the universe, you are my brightest star. And no matter what you say or do, I love you as you are. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story and be sure to tell your mommies how much you love them and thank them for taking such good care of you and for giving you all the cuddles and have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye!